What's up guys, it's Scary here, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with me. Today I'm going against my good friend and rival Jack, or just me, well, I think this is like the third time he changed his name. Nevertheless, he's using Dusknall, which is a U-Threat, uh, Tangela with Divulite, which is also a U-Threat, you know, with lead Seeds and Sleep Powder. Really, really hard to, like, take down, so I need to keep that one in mind. And we also got the Pangoro, which usually, when I go up against them, they are usually scarfed with Storm Throw, Parting Shot. But you know, it's meanwhile, he can actually do whatever he likes, and uh, he actually have a different set, which took me somewhat off guard. Uh, the Torkoal, which I know is a rapid spin, and consider how meanwhile the plays. And other than that, we have the Samoroth, which can be, you know, either physical or special. Works either way, and Lux Ray, which often is well the gut set, so I do expect it to be that. I myself is using my quite old team here: B and Assault Vest, Hiriyama, Shift Tree, which is carved, Magneton, uh, Mushana. Oh, <laughs> I said wrong name the first time, but no less. I hope that's the right name on it. And uh, also my Pyro, uh, which is a mixed set, and I actually some Sylvie, which is my Toxic Spiker. Just, you know, help Lipo to get a better entry here. So we'll see how that panned out. And like I said, I did think Pangoro was his star poke here. So because I thought about him actually going for Pangoro, I decided myself to go for Hiriyama. Just to pull off a close combat in case it stays in. Pretty much sacking Hiriyama, but then, the, obviously, the Pangoro is out of the way. He's going for Luxray here. Uh, I do expect him to, you know... <laughs> I didn't expect him to go for a Volt Switch at all because of the physical sets, which is obviously because it has the uh, Intimidate. And I'm just gonna go for a knockoff in case they had the Volt Switch because of the Intimidate. And after this, I actually decided to switch out, thinking to go for Shadow Punch. So I'm gonna bring in Risk, my uh, Paro, and he has Earthquake. And he didn't predict me, but the rather Earthquake was his strongest move, so it was the safest for him to go. So I pretty much screw up here. And he will actually do a weird, um, <laughs> like, uh, prediction too. Thinking for some reason that I am the physical set, so we'll go for a Will O Wisp. So I'm gonna do a double switch out there because I know he doesn't want to sack off his uh, Duskman at this point. So I'm going back to my wrist. And uh, he'll actually, like I said, decide to switch out. He could also go on for, um, you know, a shadow sneak there. So I was really bad on actually getting to use this, uh, <laughs> this uh, Paro, which never really come to fruition here in the beginning. So right now I actually, you know, I did predict him to go for an earthquake here, so I'm just gonna go for protect him, scout him, and then I'm gonna go for toxic spike, thinking that he thinks I'm gonna switch out. Because I know these guys always have parting shot, so I actually think I'm actually somewhat um, glad about that prediction. So I'm really glad I love the toxic spikes there. So obviously, the thing that comes in next here is gonna be um, poison. So I'm just gonna go for dragon tail. I know I can't take away the sub. But I also don't need my uh, Dragoli at this point because it does really nothing for this game because it's such a weak poke to uh, uh, Earthquake, which two of his pokes has. So I see no reason to have it around. And he'll have an Ice Beam here, and I mean, yeah, that, that's clean 50%. That is a 2 hit KO. So yeah, uh, actually, like I said, somewhat impressed there. And I get the Poison Touch, which is going to matter a little bit here. So here's the Torkoal. I don't get him like. Um, battle of poison, I just get it like normal poison here. So at this point, I'm just gonna go for, if I remember correctly, another Dragon Tail because I see no real reason to, you know, not do that and get as many as possible poisoned. So sadly for Dusk Snow here, uh, he actually dies <laughs> from the poison damage on the switch in. <laughs> actually, it's so really, really terrifying that that happened. Uh, <laughs> he could have, if you've gone for a rapid spin, who can actually add. Um, Stop that from happening. So I'm just gonna do some recovery here. We go for a jaw on here, and after this, we'll actually go for a rapid spin. I do predict him to go for that, so I'm just gonna go for another layer of toxic spikes, knowing that I'm. Or actually, I thought it was not uh, faster, so. Uh, eh. Well, well, what can you do, right? So, nevertheless, here on out, I'll just go for another toxic spike. I am really stall here. I actually, like I said, I had the mindset that I really wanna sack this one off. And it was somewhat hard to get this one, you know, dead. <laughs> so anyway, he breaks the mold. And I mean, like I said, I'm just gonna stay. Like I said, I do want this guy sacked. And he has to decide to go for that, but they not to try to predict there. So yeah, finally. 
So anyway, uh, I'm going to my Goliath. I'm just gonna go for what I thought was a safe uh, close combat here. Because he has no poke on his team now that is resisted to... Uh, or, you know, can take it like Deskno and just um, wall it down really. So close combat won't do anything worth mentioning. And he will rapid spin away those... Um, those toxic spikes. So, yeah. I mean, what can you do, right? So I'm just gonna go for knockoff, pretty much shutting it down. So now at least the um, Torkoal has no way of recovering. So, you know, I'm somewhat glad with that. I mean, it sucks, yeah, but this was the best I could do, really. So the reason I went to this guy was because I was thinking that he might want to switch out to um, his Pangora now, and he did not. And I did some weird play here. I should have just switched out right away and actually let the poison take him out. Because since this guy is scoffed, I could have used him for something else than, you know, fall playing a Samurott. Which obviously won't do anything because this is a defensive Samurott. So, fuck me. I am an idiot. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely wasn't my game here. And I really, really should have fought this one through. Uh, so I'm going to bring in Riss here, which can't really do anything because of the stealth rocks. So I'm just going to go for an overheat. Uh, because I do want the Moxie boost. And then pretty much forcing him to bring it in the Pangoro. Which is the biggest threat for my team at this point. And I'm just gonna go for a safe return here, trying to take it out, and... No. It doesn't work like that. It's, it simply doesn't. So, yeah. I mean, it really sucks. But, at least now, I can bring in my Ignorit, and I think I can take a Crunch rather well. I cannot. I have no idea, you know, in hindsight, but look at this battle where I didn't bring my... <laughs> my Hero Yama just went for a Bullet Punch. It is beyond me. I have no idea what I was thinking. Uh, <laughs> just looking at this battle just m makes me really, really upset because I did so many weird plays there. Uh, so he's just gonna go for a safe Thunderbolt there. So I'm gonna bring in Hiriyama here because I have the Earthquake and I think he wanna stay in because he can't really deal with Manic at this moment. But I actually decided to full switch and to bring it in the Tigella, which is, you know, going to wall me like a lot. And considering how much that the Volt switch did. I see no reason to switch out because I am in that position where I really can't do anything uh, uh, or I can't take another hit from Luxray, it's considered I am slower. So here I am instead at this point, I'm just gonna sack it off. So uh, yeah. You know looking at this battle, I I have no idea what I was thinking at some point, yeah. I always had a bad day for two days ago where I lost five times in a row. And well that's pretty much show why. So nevertheless, here is Berenger, and I go for the Flash Cannon, and I don't take it out. Luckily for me, he missed um, <laughs> uh, he missed the uh, Sleep Powder. Uh, really glad for that. And now it's the matchup between Luxray and Magneton. And sadly, and I mean sadly for sure here, he pull off the superpower and get a crit. Which is actually enough to take me out. And that really sucks, because I have calculated that the first hit will do around 70%, then after the attack drop he will be 50%, and after that attack drop he will be 30%. And so I was actually going for rest here, just to stall him out. So I was really, really annoying that that crit came there, because I actually thought I have an honest chance to actually win this time. And I feel like the game kind of robbed me of that situation. So yeah, I should stop whining like a bitch, shouldn't I? I should get over this, I lose all the time anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I really feel cheated from this victory, but you know what, it doesn't matter, I'm really glad that Jack is actually doing some work here in NU, and he's doing really well, and has done some impressive battles. So don't forget to check him out, I'm gonna link him down below my channel. And other than that guys, you know, don't forget to like and subscribe as always, and everybody, have a good day.